Biden slaps 20-year mining ban on Minnesota land, giving more power to China. Let's dive into the details, shall we? Despite the supply of precious minerals in the U.S. being depleted, the Biden administration made a policy move last week that will only exasperate the problem, according to GOP lawmakers and experts. This has been a long problem, but the Green Movement is essentially a reverse opium trade, where the United States buys overpriced green technologies from Chinese manufacturer that it, manufacturers that in turn makes our manufacturing more expensive, Common Sense Society Executive Director Christopher Bedford said Friday in reaction to on um, Mornings with Maria. On Sunday, the U.S. Department of Interior and U.S. Department of Agriculture under President Biden announced the 20-year withdrawal of more than 225,000 acres of northern Minnesota forest land, which is home to some of the largest domestic mineral reserves. According to the House Committee on uh, Natural Resources, this ban includes the Twin Metals Mine, which taps into vast domestic supplies of minerals like copper and nickel that are necessary for renewable energy, computer systems, defense applications, and essential household products. The committee wrote in a press release that the announcement represents by the Biden administration's intent to block access to those resources. If Democrats were serious about developing renewable energy sources and breaking China's stranglehold on the global market, they would be flinging open the doors to responsible mineral development here in the U.S., Chairman Bruce Westerman, Republican from Arkansas, said in the statement. We cannot have a future of renewable energy without minerals, period. Not to mention their necessity to our defense systems, satellites, cell phones, and virtually every other advanced technology. While Democrats play political ping pong with American industries, China and Russia are laughing straight to the bank. Representative Pete Stauber, a Republican from Minnesota, called the legislation, the legislation an attack on our way of life. Joe Biden banned mining in 225,000 acres of Minnesota's Iron Range and locked up development of taconite, copper, nickel, cobalt, platinum group elements, and more. Stauber also said in the committee statement, unfortunately, this harm to our country and our future has been the norm as the president's goal is to put America last. Policy expert Bedford agreed with Republican lawmakers claiming this move gives more power to China and other adversaries. We can no longer compete with the Chinese who undercut our industries in the United States. It's wild to see, Bedford told host Maria Bartiromo, now shutting down another copper mine and the waters around Minnesota. Copper is something that's pretty essential on high-powered computer chips. Copper is something we use in our ammunition. All, of, all three criticized the president for continuing to push forward an American last agenda. If, Bi if the Biden administration is over and over again going to shut down our ability to do mining of precious and important metals, shut down our ability to take energy from the ground, then the end result is going to be, as opposed to a strong America, the self-reliant one that's resilient on p p reliant on potential adversaries or open adversaries like China, Bedford said. The administration's decision to withdraw the, this mineral-rich area blatantly targeted one of the country's most promising mines. Is short-sighted, foolish, and completely unscientific, Westerman said. Unfortunately, President Biden doesn't seem to mind if Minnesota mining communities and the entire American co economy pay the price. The only winner here is China, Stauber admitted, as Joe Biden continues to hand our foreign adversaries every advantage possible. I can assure you that this administration, from the president to the Forest Service to the Interior Department, will answer for this pain they uh, elected to cause my constituents today. Wow, this is crazy. 
Yeah, I don't know what Biden's thinking. I'm sure it's like in the name of environmentalism, but you could do it safely for the environment. And America needs the medals. Of mankind does. Like this article was saying, and some of these people are saying, like, uh, for renewable energy, how are you going to make it without these precious metals? It doesn't even make any sense. So they say they want one thing, but then do the other. It, I don't even get it. They're like, okay, we can, we'll take... Um, metals from mines from other countries like like china that do that are awful for the environment don't care at all that don't have any uh oversight of that at all but let's just do it there you know i don't really get it but what do you think do you think i'm wrong do you like that the mines are closing is this bad please let me know any of the opin opinions you have in the comments below also, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel for daily news updates, hit that notification bell, and share this video to help spread the news. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.